Hi, my name is Josh. And I'm Sophie. And welcome to Cruising Kismo. So we live on a 60 foot narrowboat called Kismo and we currently live on the Loch Erne in Fermanagh in Northern Ireland. And this is our first YouTube video? Yeah, this is it. We've been on TikTok and Instagram and a few other things for a while but uh, we're finally jumping on to YouTube yeah. to try it out. It's uh, a longer form of content so yeah. if you're looking for longer form of videos hopefully you'll find them here. We love watching all sorts of narrowboat YouTubers, yeah. especially Cruising the Cut, uh, Cruising Alba, there's so many. Silver I can, Foxes. I, Silver Foxes. A lot of inspiration. We're taking it along very slowly so that we can speak to you guys properly without worrying about all the bendy corners. We are currently on just a day trip. Uh, it's a lovely bank holiday Monday today, um, 2nd of May. And Very grey. The sun is, a bit overcast. The sun is trying to get out. <laughs> yes. We just installed new solar panels. Uh, we'll talk more about our battery setup and our solar setup in future videos. But that's uh, been really great because we can stay longer off grid. We tried to get to a mooring last night called Loch Nelly. Um, for uh, maybe about bite to eat and a pint or two, but I think everybody else had the idea as well because as we were coming in uh, to the jelly, of course we were very slow, we would go about five knots, uh, which yeah. is our maximum speed. I think at the minute we're doing 2.3 2. 2. knots. Just over two, yeah. And our maximum speed is five, yeah. So um, we saw these <laughs> about five or six different boats just absolutely wailing to get in, uh, and we thought there's no chance we're getting in yeah. uh, here tonight. And lo and behold, they were, it was all full up. The boats were actually stacked. You know, two or three yeah. berths uh, each or so. Actually, you win some, you lose some, and, and we know because we're so big, we're so long, that uh, you know we're not going to get a pace very often. Um, yeah. You know, we made our way onto another meringue and we had a lovely steak yeah. and some wine. Champagne. Some champagne, yeah, yeah. we've given up our friends, we're using yes. it up. We chose to live here out of no, you know, we had no control unfortunately because of Covid. We finished, we didn't even get to finish uni, we did our... We graduated mid-lockdown, didn't we? We graduated mid-lockdown in our gardens. Uh, we had to finish our degrees and our computers at home. Yeah. Uh, we thought, that's it, the dream of living on an Arbo is gone. Yeah, because we were eyeing the boats, we were looking at boats all over England. We were, yeah, we were properly like... Start, starting to think about it after university, what do we do, where yeah, do we live? We live. Yeah. And then of course, I think within 48 hours we had to pack up and go home because yeah, the country was locking down and we were going to get stranded yeah. with no support, so again that's what happened. And it, it, back then it felt like the biggest blow ever, it yeah, felt like we the were... biggest setback and it was a very depressing time, not going to lie. It was, uh, it was awful, it was, it was awful. so uncertain and I think it was just scary for us yeah. because we weren't sure what do we do after uni, like we had our plan already. Yep. To, to stay where we were at uni. Um, and we thought and there's no you know, way we're going to be able to live on a boat now or a narrow boat because no. narrow boats aren't really over here. No, yeah, they everybody we, likes. Thought, we thought they didn't exist altogether. So. Well, there's very few of them, but over where we are, uh, it's just big cruisers. That's what people like to ride here. Yeah. Because that's what you basically we're on a lock, we're on a very big uh, lake, if you will, and, yeah. and the canal boats aren't really designed for it. Uh, so we do have to be careful when we take a ride, especially on sort of windy or blustery days. Um, because there's no you know keel, it's just flat bottom. Mm -hmm. um, so any kind of really rough weather and you run the risk of capsizing. Luckily we haven't done that and we've yeah, survived our we've first been... winter. We bought Kisma um, on the 7th of August in 2021 last year. Yeah. So we just were at the end of a beautiful summer um, and then we had to go straight into winter very quickly. Yep. So we had about six or seven storms to battle through, uh, which we did get through in the end and Kisma was it was all in one piece, thank goodness. Yeah. So. And why should you subscribe to the channel compared to other narrowboat channels, yeah. which you can also subscribe to? What yeah. is our, you know, wh why well, should you do it? Why, why should you subscribe? That's a good question. Uh, Sophie, thanks for asking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we will be uh, sort of cruising around the lower and upper Loch Erne. Um, hopefully, if, you know, if we get time off work and it all works out, we'll go down uh, the south, down towards Love Southern to Ireland. Um, yeah. Hopefully as far as Dublin or Limerick, uh, it would go all the way down uh, along the Shannon and onto the, I think it's Union Canal it's called, yeah? Grand Union, Grand yeah. Union Canal. The Dublin. Um, so there's a, a whole area of the network which you might have seen before. Yeah. Um, I know that myself, when I was like, doing research on YouTube, there's not a huge amount of, sort of resources out there. Now there's people yeah. who do it, and yeah. more for holidays than anything yeah. um, you can see. But yeah, so we'll be doing a bit of that. Now, we're not continuous cruisers. We do have a permanent mooring yes. um, at the minute anyway. We do have full time jobs, so don't expect sort of daily videos or yeah, weekly. Of course, then, we would love to. I mean, yes. we would love to, but unfortunately, well, you never know if, if, if it gets something wrong. It kicks off, we might, <laughs> might get addicted to it. We might get addicted to making yeah, content. Yeah. I was telling this to you earlier that 
I forget that you've moved places when you're in the boat and you, you just yeah, sort of walk you around. Yeah, you wake up and you open the porthole and, and you're like, oh. Somewhere different. <laughs> <laughs> so it is, it is very cool. Yeah, 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 that's it. Hisma is Arabic for fate or destiny, yeah. which sounds very corny, but I think it was fate or destiny for <laughs> us because... Yes, that's yes, good. Yes, th tell them how we found the boat how in the first the place. Boat? That's, a good, that's a good question because, um, as I said, we'd sort of given up on the dream. Uh, yeah. we, we knew there wasn't, wasn't many narrow boats about. And, uh, you know, it didn't have a, a lot of money for a big yeah. Dutch wide beam, which cost double the amount of a, a narrowboat. Even the cost of a house. You oh know, yeah, of course. It's so there, yeah. lots and lots of money. <laughs> exactly. So how it came about was uh, I was just scrolling on online and just going through different you know adverts and Gumtree and Dundee and we Facebook got a bit Marketplace. Addicted, just yeah, checking. It was kind of a thing things. to do. It was just a, yeah. if you had a bit of downtime, especially before I went to work, I would just scroll on different places. And I remember thinking to myself, surely there's at least one narrowboat in Northern Ireland or Ireland. Yeah. It has to be at least one for sale. So uh, I went on Dundale and I found a couple of different lessons. And there was a couple, I think it was one or two, but they were really, really old. Or, yeah, you know. there's some in the south. Yeah, but yeah. The, I came across Kisma. And I remember distinctly thinking at the time, this has got to be a scam. There's yeah. no way that this is real because yeah, it was very reasonably priced for this mm -hmm. you know, very young boat. She was only 10, 11 She years was old. built in 2010. Built in 2010. So. Very, very beautifully kept, you know, looked after. Um, and see, it, you know, it was in Northern Ireland where mm -hmm. you wouldn't expect it to be. Um, so I remember thinking, this is something that's strange about this. There's no way that this is real. Yeah. Did a bit more research, called the guy up who owned it, and it was real. It was yeah. the, uh, the done deal. So as, as where we got it from. The done deal. Yeah. Um, and down the line we decided to go and see it, did a yeah. bit of a test cruise, got a bit more about it mm -hmm. um, and decided this was very much something we wanted to do yeah. um, and then that's where it came from. So of course the previous owners named Kisma, Kisma the way she yeah. is. Um, and, and we, don't, we don't intend to change it. Yeah, we we don't, it's we don't bad name. luck to rename a boat, but yeah. also we like the name. Um, Cruising Kisma has a yeah, nice, it's good, nice to ring to it. Yeah, it's a nice ring to it, help us like that. For me it came up at the right time. Yeah. Um, if you just got a new job we can work remotely. You know, I, I wasn't sort of doing a huge amount of things at the time as well, so yep. it just worked out really well, and it was slightly fate or destiny. I think we'll share a lot more about Kisma. You'll find you'll you'll be sick of you'll us. You'll be sick of hearing about us. You will be yeah. sick of us. You'll be unsubscribed for long. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yes, no. If you want to uh, follow us on our other platforms, we are on TikTok, yep. which is at Crazy Kisma, all one word. How do you spell Kisma? Kisma is spelled Q I S M A, yes. <laughs> not Quizma, Kisma. Yeah. <laughs> We're, we're really excited for our YouTube journey, I think. <laughs> yeah, but lots to, lots to learn, lots to do, yeah. lots to share about, so we're looking forward to it.